Hello and welcome back to our BCU Sport Roundup. And we have headlines from women's hockey, women's volleyball and men's football highlights coming up and we'll have a look at those highlights. Unfortunately, the ladies hockey team didn't manage a win against Harper Adams, but on the other side, the men's won against Warwick. Here are some highlights. Uh, the score was 6-2 in the end, I think to Harper Adams. And how did you feel that the overall game went? Uh, I think we had a really good game, it was just unfortunate that obviously Harper played a lot better than us and that's how they got the goals in today. <laughs> yeah, I think Caitlin had a really good game today. Um, she played amazing, so yeah, she's definitely my woman in the match. And the other news from a women's volleyball at Doug Ellis. Unfortunately, girls couldn't win. They lost 3-1 to Cambridge University. And let's have a look at some highlights. overall feeling of the game? Um, we've played better, definitely have, but they were a strong team, probably the strongest we have played. Um, all of us, we did try very hard. We did win one set, it was the third set. We applied pressure, we worked well as a team, we were communicating, but unfortunately the fourth set, we did lose quite a lot, but we'll definitely get them next time. And who do you think stood out? Which player do you think stood out the most out of the team? Was there anyone in particular? From our team or their team? Your team. Um, from our team, um, probably our, um, our setter, Carlotta. She was going for a lot of balls, um, definitely diving for most of them. She, yeah, she really helped us. Moving on to football, our women's team drew one all against Coventry University and unfortunately the men's thirds lost to Warwick 6-1. However, good news coming from men's first team as they beat Nottingham Trent two goals to one. Here are some highlights and some two great goals that we captured. Okay, so we're here with BCU men's first team captain Liam Davis here. Uh, Liam, good 2-1 win for BCU yesterday. How do you think the game went overall? Yeah, not bad. Uh, got three points in the end, but I think we could have improved a lot more. We had a lot more chances, you know, could have been double figures in the end and that's something to look at going forward. Absolutely. Um, any other improvements or, or anything that you could look forward to going into next week's game? Yeah, staying unbeaten. I think that's the aim so far in the league. We've won three from three. I think we've just got to keep that going now. You know, make sure we're winning as many games as possible. You know, keeping our shape at the back. I think we were a bit leaky in some parts. You know, they had chances to score as well, and that's something we've got to look at definitely. Absolutely. Um, and what are the aims for the BCU men's first team this season going forward? Well, at this point, we're in the cup, so we're out the cup now. Uh, but I think, you know, like I said, staying and beating the league. You know, aiming to win that league title and move up to the next third division. You were there, Sabi. How was the match? That was great uh, by BC boys. Uh, they dominated the position. They had so many opportunities went missing, even inside the box. Uh, quite unfortunate, few corners went astray. But uh, Liam Davies, the skipper, he controlled really well playing in that left wing position. It was really good indeed. And uh, as Liam said, uh, they are looking positive for the week uh, forward. 
Netball and squash had another fantastic game. However, for the rugby, they lost against the one point. Here are the results. And finally, we have news coming from cricket as the men's team will play against Loughborough at the Edgeweston Indo Nets. Uh, and here's our BCU cricket president Harun speaking ahead of their weekend clash. Hi there, I'm Harun Ashad and I'm the president of BCU Cricket. Come this Sunday, the 21st, we're playing in our second set of indoor fixtures in the Bucks Indoor Cricket League Midlands A. I believe in our, in our set of players that we can go out there, play some good hard cricket, go in with the mentality that we can win every game and do our best really, that's as much as we can do. And with the set of boys that we have, I'm pretty sure that can be the case. We can come away with a couple of wins and um, really show that we've been working hard and have the results for it. Thank you so much for that, Harun. We wish you all the best. I'm Fatima Khatoun, and we shall see you all next week.